guys. Welcome to another edition of K-Cards Baseball. Thanks for joining me tonight on this wonderful Sunday evening, wherever you might be. Hopefully you all are enjoying your Memorial Day weekend and also taking a moment to think about those people that made the ultimate sacrifices for you and I to be able to live the life that we are able to live. Um, I um, don't take that for granted myself. And um, I definitely appreciate uh, all those military people out there. If you're watching this video, I definitely want to thank you for your service and for your dedication to your country. And um, I would be remiss if I didn't want it if I didn't mention that at all. So with that being said, let's get into tonight's video. Um, tonight we're going to open up the second half of the Bowman display box that we got. If you watch my video from last Wednesday, I did open up 12 packs out of this display box that I got from Fanatics in the mail. Um, and we did get some pretty decent hits out of there. We did get a gold card that is number 50 of Ismael Valencia. And we did get a lunar, a green lunar of Anthony Baptiste. And we did get one Dylan Cruz card out of it. So we're still looking for another Walker Jenkins and that will be the main goal tonight as we rip into part two of our pack opening. I first got to apologize to you guys. I know I did during that video mention that I would be opening up the second half of the cards on Friday night. However, on Friday night, I did want to cover the details as far as the preview for 2024 Top Series 2. I did read some, through some information and got the information for that particular set, so I wanted to get that out there. So that you guys that are interested in picking up those cards and interested in Series 2 would have the information about the set. So uh, if you didn't get a chance to check out that video, definitely go back and check that out. Um, it was a pretty decent video to go through. So like I said tonight, we are going to open up the other 12 packs that we have in the dis this display box. So this hopefully will yield us some pretty decent cards. I don't know how much more Bowman I'm going to open. Um, I've opened up five or six blasters and now a display box. I definitely think I have the complete set, um, but I don't know. Um, I might go back through it just to make sure. It's been a really fun rip, so I might buy another blaster or two. I don't know. Um, so just keep your eye out for that. By the way, um, I did want to just give you a little preview of the 600 subscriber giveaway. We are going to be giving away this blaster of 2024 Bowman for the 600 subscriber giveaway. So more details to come on that in the next coming days. I plan on making a video announcing the giveaway and I'll let you guys know the stipulations around the giveaway for 600 subscribers. Um, hopefully that that happens pretty soon. I also wanted to take one quick second to cover some cards that I did pick up uh, in the past few days. Um, I did go up to Duluth with my lovely wife and um, we did hit an antique shop and that antique shop did have some cards in it that I thought was actually a pretty reasonable price. If any of you guys have ever gone to antique shops and checked them out and found some cards in there, pr pretty much always they are dramatically overpriced. Uh, you never get any good deals from antique shops, but I thought that these cards were actually pretty good. I'm not really a... a a basketball collector. I did collect basketball back in like the early 70s. So um, there was some early 70s cards in here. So I thought they were a pretty good deal for the price and they were pretty popular players. A lot of them were actually ex-coaches. -co ex uh, Elvin Hayes here, for example, with the Washington Bullets at that time um, was a pretty much an all-star player. He was a pretty all-star and really an excellent player back in the late, uh, mid, excuse me, back in the mid 70s to the mid 80s, I think was pretty much his time. Um, and I got this card for a dollar and all these cards were actually a dollar. So I thought that they were all um, a pretty decent price. Earl of Pearl and Monroe in the 77, 78 uh, tops card. I think all these are gonna be tops. Um, I think that was primarily always set back at that particular time. So getting hit this card for a dollar and actually all in pretty decent shape. There wasn't any creases on them. The corners were always pretty good and actually pretty well centered. You can see right here, this card is actually pretty decently centered. Same as the uh, Alvin Hayes, um, pretty decently centered for 
70 set or 79 80 card and then we got paul westfall for the boston celtics at the time 74 75 tops again pretty well centered a little bit off on top to bottom like 80 20 but um a pretty decent card on the paul westfall um kobe bryant for a buck i mean any uh, even though it's a checklist card if i see a kobe bryant card for one dollar I'm going to buy it. This is a 2003-2004 Upper Deck Checklist card. Um, pretty good card there. And like I said, anytime I can get Kobe Bryant for a buck, um, that is generally going to be a good buy. Um, Lou Hudson, um, sweet Lou Hudson. He played for the Minnesota Gophers, my Minnesota Gophers, back in the early 70s. So this is 74-75 to 75 card for a buck. Um, Don Chaney, more, mostly known as a coach. Um, he was a longtime coach. Um, this is a 72 73 card. Centering is off on this one. This upper left has a bit of a ding in it. So does the bottom one, but there's no creases on the card. Um, pretty decent shape for a 72 73. Billy Cunningham, again, a guy that was a coach for a long time with the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, this is a 74 to 75 Billy Cunningham for $1 there. And finally, Kent Benson, who was a star player for. Um, the Indiana Hoosers and uh, went on to have a fairly decent NBA career and this was actually his rookie card 79 to 80 tops rookie card of Kent Benson. I just like the name Kent. I don't know why <laughs> Anyways, so that is that I mean getting these cards for a buck I don't know if I'm gonna sell them or just toss them in the PC We'll have to see but I thought that, that was a pretty good deal especially for an antique shop find um, yesterday I went to a swappers meet and Typically, they do have a couple guys selling cards there, and I did pick up some cards there as well. You got all these reprint cards, and this guy was selling them for, um, I think they were six cards for $5. So, I paid $5 for these cards, and they're all reprints, obviously, no doubt about it. I mean, you're not going to find a Mickey Mantle for uh, a buck. So for six for five dollars, but anytime you get a Mickey Mantle, even if it is a reprint card, that is uh, generally going to be a good deal. So this Joe DiMaggio, um, this Mickey Mantle, this card was actually numbered, so I was pretty pumped about this card. Numbered 100 to one uh, out of 150, 61 runs batted in, milestone for 1957 MVP card. So um, that was a pretty good deal there. Again, you can see the price on the back. A dollar or six for five dollars. Um, so again, these are all going to be reprint cards. This is Bowman reprint, Bowman rookie reprint, which I thought was pretty decent. So getting six for five dollars on reprint cards. I think these normally sell for like four or five dollars a piece on eBay. So I'm probably going to sell these cards because I think I actually already have most of them from the uh, uh, mid seven or mid nine or mid two thousands. I think that's. Generally 2006-2007. Uh, I did get this Jim Cott card. 63 Jim Cott for $5. Which I thought was a pretty good deal. Pretty good shape. The back is in really nice shape. There's no creases on the card. It actually centered pretty well. So for 5 bucks, getting a Jim Cott card. Not his rookie. Um, this is his probably like his third year card um, for the Twins. And I'm always a sucker for twins, especially old twins. And you guys know that I've been collecting some Harmon Killebrew. Um, I did get these two cards. This one was six dollars, and this one was I think seven, but I got both of them for ten. Um, so I, you know, I had to get this deal. So this is a seventy. Um, two Hall of Famers on it with Harmon Killebrew and Carl Stremski, and should be the Hall of Very Good with Frank Howard. He was a dominant. Home run hitter in the early to mid 70s um, for the Washington Senators at this time. And then the 67, um, I think this is. Yeah, um, 67 home run leaders card, or 66 home run leaders card, but a 67 card uh, with Frank Thomas, or Frank Robinson and Harmon Kilber on him. Again, two Hall of Famers. And then Boog Powell, who again was an excellent home run hitting first baseman for the Baltimore Orioles as well. Um, those two teams played each other a lot in the late 60s to early 70s uh, in the AL Championship Series. So, anyways, that is the finds from this past weekend. So, without further ado, let's get into these Bowman packs. 
hopefully, like I said, our main goal is to get another Walker Jenkins. If we get another number card, that would be huge. Now, we already have the one number card. This one was numbered to 50. So this one was the best hit so far in the first 12 packs. I don't think we're going to get an auto in here. But, hey, you never know. Um, hopefully, we get something like that. So this display box is basically the single packs that you would buy at Target or Walmart. I don't know if Walmart sells single packs or not of, uh, of, of Bowman. But I have seen them quite a bit at Target. So this is basically what you would get out of that box. Um, so yes, we got a Rookie of the Year of favorites in here. I don't know if I'm going to read off each one. Colton Kowser, having a good year. Uh, Noel V. Marte. Bobby Witt Jr. I would put Bobby Witt in the, uh, probably the leading candidate for MVP for this year so far. He is just having an incredible year, as are the Kansas City Royals as a whole. Uh, they are definitely giving the Cleveland Guardians everything they want, uh, and they have flown by my twins. Francisco Alvarez, you just keep wondering if they're going to come back to Earth a little bit, as the Cleveland Guardians are, because neither one of those teams are losing at all right now. Um, so it's pretty unbelievable. Ronnie Mauricio on the Rookie of the Year favorite card. Um, and who else do we get? Jackson Merrill. I would put him probably as the leading candidate for Rookie of the Year in the National League. Um, he is having a, a really good year so far for the Padres. And then our Bowman first, we got a Chrome of uh, Josh Rivera and Kayshawn Walton, but he is not a, um, that's not a Bowman first, of course. I don't think we got any paint for Bowman first in here. Nope. Yeah, it seems like the Bowman first in this display box have been pretty light compared to what you would get out of the blaster box. Um, so, don't know what the deal is there, but yeah, definitely not getting Bowman first to the same frequency. I think I opened one pack in the first 12 that didn't even have a uh, Bowman first card in it at all. And uh, this one that I just opened just had one, even though it was a chrome card, so that is good, but no paper Bowman first. And we got a top 100 in this one. Nolan Arenado, the Cardinals are kind of coming to life a little bit. Um, Adolis Garcia, Texas Rangers are really struggling without this guy being around, Josh Young. Uh, he is out for, I don't even know how long he's out for. Um, Jordan Alvarez, Jose Ramirez, having a really good year for the Guardians. Uh, he is just, he killed my twins last week when we played against them, so um, that is that. Um, Jet Williams. I gotta grab one card out of here that I forgot to set aside this insert. Sorry about that. Let's get back to it. Um, John Cruz. Um, Ryan Clifford. Hey, there's a guy. Hey, well, there's our goal. We got Bowman Chrome first of Walker Jenkins to match this Bowman Chrome first. And we don't have his paper card. We have two of his Bowman first cards. Um, but that are uh, chrome cards, but we don't have a paper card, but that's okay I'll take chrome all day long over the paper So um, that is really exciting to get another Walker Jenkins So we'll get him right into a sleeve and into a top loader real quick And throw him up here on the stage you know, it's always kind of a shooting match. You know, he's really playing very well. Um, he's down in uh, double A, I believe, right now, um, playing really well. But, you know, until they get up to this level, as we've seen with Jackson Holiday and Jackson Churio and Wyatt Langford, I mean, you can be the world beater down at minor leagues, but once you get up to the show, once you get up to the big boys, uh, it is an entirely different game. Uh, so it's a quick dose of reality for all these top prospects that have been top prospects for a while. They're kind of getting their uh, eyes opened a little bit to what reality is really like. So, you know, I'm sure, you know, obviously they're talented players, so I have no doubt that they'll be able to adjust, but it is going to take some time for sure. Tyler Soderstrom is actually having a pretty good year. It's Tyler Soderstrom for the um, Oakland days, Kyle Schwarber. Bryce Harper, how many? How about those Phillies? Just unbelievable team. Blake Snell, Curtis Mead, 
as my guy Brett would say, Curtis, need for speed, need for speed, need. Uh, Vladdy, rumors have, have it that he might be on the trading block. And I think I just got a glimpse of a possible autograph card. Let's see who it is. I see it's an angel. Bowman first. On card auto of Josh Wimmer. Nice autograph card there. I did not expect that at all. That is really, really cool. That is exciting. That is the fourth autograph that we pulled. Unbelievable. I did not expect to get that out of a display box. So what do you think about that? I mean, you're paying $150 for a display box and you get 24 packs with uh, 12 cards per pack, which is, you know, you get a uh, you get a um, hobby box and you're getting 20, 20 packs, so four less packs, but 14 <laughs> cards per pack, so you're getting 240. And then here you're getting, what are you getting, 24 times 12. So you're getting more cards. And if you're getting an auto, and also getting a really nice insert card. Um, that is, uh, I would almost say that's just as good as getting a hobby box, to be honest with you. Especially if you're getting a Bowman first on card auto. That is really cool. Super excited about that. That is awesome. With nice signature too for a young kid. Yeah, kind of cool, man. That is, that's pretty awesome, guys. That is really good. Um, I did not expect that at all. Max Wagner, I think, my one of my subscribers, one of this and the Horvath. So now we got both of them, so I can send the Max Wagner and the Horvath out to that subscriber, which I will get in the mail. Um, Alberto Rios and Bowman first of uh, Carson Rucker, and then we got Brando Maia. So Bowman first and Chrome. Cool, that's exciting. Hey, we got an auto. Again, I didn't expect that, so. Cool. Makes your horse race a little bit. That's exciting. Successful display box, for sure. Especially if we can top it off with another uh, numbered parallel. That would be a really good way to finish her off. We got an AI card in this pack. Ende Rodriguez. Juan Soto. Cover boy of the Tops Series 2. Um, really good cover. So Juan Soto is the cover boy of that particular set that's coming out. Sebastian Walcott on the AI card. Nice insert there. Braden Taylor and Brian Acuna. Got a bunch of him. Antonio Anderson on the Bowman First Chrome. And Robert Callis on the Bowman First Chrome as well. So two nice Bowman First Chromes on that Keep forgetting to look and see if we got paper. I went through the cards that we opened up last week and I didn't miss some as I went along. And some Bowman first misses, so um, I'm going to try not to miss any in this particular open. So four autos so far. I think that that is pretty good. And two Walker Jenkins. I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know that we're going to get another Walker Jenkins or a Dylan Cruz. But we got both of them in this display box, so that is pretty good. Junior Caminero. Another guy that struggled a little bit with the Rays, Max Scherzer, Kristen Yelich, Sal Frey, like he's one guy that's not struggling, he's actually having a pretty decent year. Um, got cold for a while, but I was kind of heated up back again, Clayton Kershaw, Jordan Lawler on the AI card, I kind of like these AI cards to be honest. And then we got, if there's a Bowman first uh, paper, so we'll set that aside. So that is might be our first Bowman first paper. Filippo del, de, uh, Filippo del, uh, Filippi, Filippo de Tori on the Bowman First Chrome, and Arjun Nimola. That is another really top rookie card there. So, um, that, I think he's typically about number four on the best uh, Bowman First in this particular set. So, um, that is a really good hit. I don't know that I've hit him um, on either a paper or a chrome, so... That is a good hit. We're kind of hot tonight, guys. We're getting some good pulls. Some really good pulls. We got a walker. We got an auto. And we got a uh, another one of the top five guys. And here's our green lunar. 
on their second green lure that we've got out of this particular box. AJ Smith Shawner, Heston Kierstead, Francisco Lindor, that's our second time we got him tonight. Jazz Chisholm, Mookie Betts, probably the leading candidate for MVP in the National League. I would guess Mookie's having a great year so far. Riley Green. And then this is um, our lunar, no, our lunar of Alfredo Duno. That is a nice lunar card. I kind of like these lunars. They're actually pretty cool. They're not numbered at all. Um, they're just a, a retail insert. So, um, but they're still pretty cool cards to get for sure. So I'll throw that one up on the corner. And who else do we got here? Roman Anthony. Georgia Walco and Spencer Nevins. Another Bowman First Chrome. And that is what we got. Alrighty, we got six packs to go. We're halfway through. We're already at 20 minutes, boy. I gotta get rolling here. 20 minutes to open up these cards. You guys know how I am, though. Like I said the other night, I open them up very slowly. We got a security back. Um, open up slowly. I like to go through and kind of enjoy them a little bit. I don't like to run through cards like I see a lot of guys do because um, it, you know, it, it, why watch the video if you just watch a guy flip through cards and not actually check them out and see what's going on. Rookie of the Year, Curtis Mead, Rookie of the Year favorite. And Kem Collier. Paul Skeens, hey, we got a Paul Skeens. I think that's the first Paul Skeens that I've pulled in this set. And it's Chrome, so that's really good. He has been, uh, this first, what, three starts that he's had so far has just been pretty awesome. That is a good hit there. I think people are just expecting too much from him, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, people freak out if he gives up one run. <laughs> I don't know what people expect. Ryan Clifford, I mean, the guy is uh, throwing gas. He's just, uh, he's going to be good for a long time. Um, but uh, hopefully he doesn't develop any arm troubles that a lot of pitchers have with, um, you know, having to do Tommy John sur surgery or something like that. But he's gotten off to a good start for sure. And he is a stud. Big time stud for sure. Now, people say that. Um, they remind Strasburg is the guy that they rem that reminds that uh, most people think of when they see him pitch, uh, Steven Strasburg. Um, but hopefully he doesn't have the same ending that Steven Strasburg, Strasburg had. Henry Davis, Marco Luciano. Again, we've seen this run quite a few times. Peter Armstrong, Michael Harris. Hey, we got our number card. We got another number card. Oh, I see. I missed a Bowman first paper and another one geez what is going on here let's see what our number card is it looks like it's a might be a father's day blue maybe it is kemp alderman on the blue card numbered 31 to 499 that's a really nice card there so we did get two number cards in this display box and the hits keep coming guys the hits just keep on coming. Have to get out more stands. We'll throw him up in front there. And uh, let's get re uh, reconfigured here. <laughs> Anyways, Jacob Wilson on the chrome. And we got Emmanuel Tejada on the Bowman first chrome. So we're getting the hits, guys. We got uh, four packs left. I don't know what else can we can really expect. It's been an unbelievable night of opening cards for sure. Better than the first uh, set of 12. This one set of 12 has really come on strong for sure. Looks like we got another AI card. Jason Dominguez. I hear that he might be coming back pretty soon. I don't know that the Yankees really need him. Corbin Carroll struggling as heck. Corbin Carroll. Sedane Rafalia having a good year. Raphael Devers getting hot, as are the Boston Red Sox. Chris Bryant. Oh, prospect power up is what it was, not an AI card. Of Jackson Holiday. That's a nice Jackson Holiday card. I fully expect him to come back. Um, hopefully, he comes back by the end of the year and uh, gets another shot at it here by the end of the year. Um, I think that he just got his confidence hurt. He came expected to come up here and just tear it up. 
but it didn't happen, so hopefully it was a little dose of reality for him, like I said earlier. David Guzman on the first paper. Johan de Morales on the first paper. And did we get a chrome first? Yes, we did. Enrique Jimenez on the chrome first. We got three packs to go. We're getting down there. Hopefully we can get this done here within a half an hour. Unbelievable. But we've had good hits tonight, so it's taking a little bit extra time because we're doing some sleeving and uh, getting some stuff together. We might have another numbered card here. We might very well have another numbered card. I see some pink in the back. Austin Riley, Nolan Shanuel, Alex Verdugo having a DC year, Spencer Steer, Nick Lofton, and here comes our pink numbered card. It is Alberto Rios, numbered to two, or it's numbered in, this is kind of cool, number 199 out of 199. So it is the last card in the Mother's Day card. I think that's what it is, Mother's Day card, Mother's Day's pink. So it looks like we got a Father's Day and the Mother's Day card in the same box. So that is our, what, our third number card now? Wow. Bowman. 2024 has been very good to me. Um, so, uh, really excited about it. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to stop buying this product because it's such a fun rip. Man. Especially if you're getting hits out of blasters and display boxes and everything else. But, spent a lot of money on it. I gotta kind of save up my pennies now for Series 2 when that comes out here in another few weeks. So, I don't know. If I'll be able to buy much more. I did see I forgot some cards over here on the side, which is the rest of this pack. Enrique Bradford and Jerron Elkins on the Bowman First Chrome. And Cooper Pratt on the Bowman First Chrome. So two Bowman First Chromes in that pack. What a good night. What an awesome night. Man, we filled up the stage for sure. I was a little bit worried going into night. I only had three cards on the stage. Now we've added seven more. And, oh, okay. There's some fire going on here. I haven't pulled one of these cards yet. Ronnie Mauricio, Lawrence Butler, Carlos Correa, Trey Turner, CJ Abrams, and what have we got going on here behind the Jordan Walker? Drew Jones on the... Rising Infernos card. I haven't pulled a Rising Infernos yet. These aren't numbered. They're just a base insert, but a rare insert um, that you don't get very often. Again, this is the first one that I've pulled is the Drew Jones. Again, another guy that um, hopefully comes back and starts playing better. But, you know, it's kind of a cool looking card, that's for sure. Um, I'm basically out of stand, so I'm just going to throw him up there on the side. Alrighty then, Enrique Jimenez and Luis Baez on the Bowman First Chrome. And Lazaro Montez, really good players, Lazaro Montez for the Mariners. And hopefully he um, comes up and plays well, but de definitely has the tools, that's for sure. Last pack, guys. Last pack. Let's see what we have for last pack magic in here. Don't know. I don't expect much. It looks like we got a top 100 card, but that is better than what I thought. Adley Rushman, Jordan Lawler, rookie card. Jose Altuve, Kodai Senga, Samad Taylor, rookie card. Pete Alonso, and we got... Kyle, Manzar uh, Kyle Manzardo on the uh, top 100 prospects, with number 41. Luke Kershaw and our Bowman first, Ismail Valencia. I think we've pulled him a few times. And we got Jose Rodriguez on the Bowman first and Esther Surio. Really nice Esther Surio, another one of the top 10 guys in this particular set. So um, that is a good poll to end this night's rip. Thanks, guys. That was really exciting. Let's recap what we got out of this box. Um, again, I'm sorry that this ran long, but you know what? We got the hit, so what are we going to do? 
Uh, Rising Inferno's card of Drew Jones. We got um, Paul Skeens on the Chrome. On the Bowman first, uh, not Bowman first, on the Chrome. Um, we got uh, Arjun Nimala on the Bowman first Chrome. That's a really nice card there. Walker Jenkins on the Bowman first Chrome. Good pull there of the number one guy in the set, him and Dylan Cruz. So we got both of them in this display box, the paper of Dylan Cruz and the Chrome of Walker Jenkins. So always exciting to get that card in particular. We got a Lunar of Alfredo Duno. And then um, our numbered cards, we got on the Father's Day, I think that's what this is, number 31 on the 49 for Kemp Alderman. That is really a nice card there on the Father's Day Blue. And the pink, Alberto Rios, 199 out of 199 on the Mother's Day pink. That is really a good pull. And then we got the bonus benefit of getting an auto card, on card auto of John Wimmer. Uh, all the Chrome cards in the set Bowman First Chromes are going to be on card autos. Just the purples like this one right here of uh, Jefferson Rojas is um, going to be a sticker auto. So the purples, the number of purple cards in these sets are going to be stickers, but the on card auto like Brian Wu here um, are going to be on card autos. Anyways, that is it for tonight what a good night what a good display box that was definitely worth the hundred and fifty dollars that I spent on it uh, getting an auto and what we get a gold number to 50 a pink Mother's Day number to 199 and a Father's Day card number to 499 so three uh, number parallels and an auto out of the display box for 150 bucks um, and you get more cards than you get out of a hobby box. So I would say this was successful for sure. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining me tonight. Hit that like and subscribe if you aren't currently a subscriber to the channel. It would help me out a tremendous amount. I definitely would appreciate it. So um, that again is all I got for you guys tonight. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your Memorial Weekend. And we will talk to you guys later. And happy collecting.